okay so here we are with the video and uh, I just really gonna run through this so the HMR land registry office has data on all the sales in London so I'm using Python code to make a map and populate it instantaneously with as you can see loads of sale properties obviously useful for loads of things everything can be changed this is a speeded up version of the longer video uh, I think it would be more useful for those who aren't sure whether they want to even bother watching the 25 minutes of programming. You click on it, you can see the postcodes come up and obviously you can change the difference in colours of all of the little icons and you could sort out all your data around London to try and pick the right property for you. So without further ado, um, here's the Python code that basically does it all. Don't uh, even if you go to watch the other video, don't copy it down, it's all on GitHub. So there we are, 4,998 matches for uh, North London. You can see that as it's N5. You just press on the change ser uh, search settings and you can download the data. The, once you have the data, as you can see, you click on that button there, you get it as a CSV. And guess what? The incredible people who made pandas and Python will help you to build a data frame out of it instantaneously. So without further ado, let's get on to that. Uh, we won't look at the spiral, uh, that's more complicated. So basically here is some of the pandas code. So I'm just importing it and then I'm gonna list out my files that are inside it. Like I said, if anyone wants to go through this at a slower pace, there's another video or if they're even stuck after that, just email me or leave a comment on the YouTube. So here are all the columns and here is all of the data. I put in some column headings. Once again, in the other video, you can see how to do that. But with these column headings and all of that data, that wonderful data, then we can do something, let's hope. So just quickly going through it, there's some prices, the date of sale, the postcode, uh, if it's freehold, new build, leasehold, whatever you want to know. There's an incredible amount of data, actually. It was shocking. So with all of that information, without further ado, let's move on. Here you can see a plot that renders all of the data. So basically on the y-axis, we have all the prices. And basically you can see that one that I've circled is uh, a property worth 3 million. This one worth 1.5 and that one about two so i'm just quickly editing the code to get rid of those sort of spikes just to level it out a bit um obviously i'm not going to go into how that's done on this video this is just quickly to show people how it all works so we'll move down quickly and here you can see that i've just set up a new data frame and then basically I've collected all of the postcodes. So there they all are, postcodes. Um, with all of that postcode data, I've just stored it in there. I've just slowed down the video just so it's a little easier to see. Um, with all the postcode data, I think there's only about 80 rows in this. We're gonna have the fun bit of connecting up the Google API. So with that API all connected, basically we will iterate through it and you can see that in that top line with postcodes store it to a new data frame collect all the longitude latitude data and with that new data frame we will then and there you can see it all the postcodes longitude latitude of each one and now the fun bit we're just going to upload that all using the maps location Curtis of google uh, just for those who want to know the library that you use is folium okay and we'll make up a map object and then publish it publicize that and everyone should be able to see it straight away and with that newly rendered map object you can see all of the locations of the properties automatically in google maps and obviously there's an awful lot that can be done with that we could color change it depending on the price of 
each of the objects. In fact, it'd be really interesting to hear commentary about what would be the best way to sort out all of this data. I'm going to carry on working on this anyway and hopefully upload some new videos. Well, anyway, I hope that that's been useful to someone. Thanks.